Um, you know, and that, that was an interesting matchup to watch earlier. I mean, if, if you guys uh, were tuned into that time, that was when um, it was uh, the, the Peach and Robin matchup. Right. So. Keetrian really? from St. Louis, yeah. getting known for his Robin. He in told the me he was. Uh, he said he, when the rankings come out for the STL rankings, he said he's going to be number five. And I had a chance to talk to him after that set, and uh, he's a great guy. He seems very technical about what he does, and um, he was confident in the game against Zenodo um, with the matchup. Said that he was. He liked how Peach typically attacks from the air, um, but just unable to pull it out uh, in the end. But he, Zenodo, made, he made it very interesting. Right, like you were talking earlier, we have Zenodo playing the Peach, and obviously Azur Jose, right, known for his Wolf, right, and you know Daybreak and Azur Jose are both playing Wolf tomorrow in double. Yep, double Wolf, man. You, you can never sleep on those characters. I think one of my favorite things to watch in, in Smash Ultimate is just some of the uh, the combos and conversion that Peach can pull off. It is so smooth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's, she can just plummet you into the ground, pick you up, throw you again, and just drag you across the stage right. at her mercy. But here's the real question, right? If Zenodo is actually a Peach main, where's the head bop at? <laughs> you got to have that, man. <laughs> Sam Sora with the head bop doing, like, he's getting a rhythm and, you know, one of those things, like, we're not seeing it from him. Come on, come on, Zenodo, you got this, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not gonna fall for that one. Right. Obviously, these two are fantastic players in their own right. It's one of those things, you know. We we gotta have fun, right? This game is fantastic. You know, Sakurai blessing us with this fantastic game. You just gotta have fun. Ooh, great parry into the grab. Chucks him off stage with the forward throw. Gonna miss with the the turn up chuck and. Still finding himself holding stage, but not anymore. Looks like Azure has the advantage, but both finding himself back in neutral, trying to own the stage here. Let's see who comes out on top. Dash attack, not going to do it. All right, so, oh my goodness. Such a disappointing way to take this first stock with a side B stage fight. Back there, we'll chuck him off. Not quite. That's why I hate about being with, against the wolf, right? You misspace yourself off stage once, and you're dead with side B. Azur Jose just putting these wolf combos to work. Oh, he had a good, good string. Zero to sixty is a very good uh, thing with wolf, right? Sometimes those wolves tend to drop things, right? So zero to sixty. Stitch face. Yep. Just gonna say, and like, as you know, um, and I think we're we're seeing it here. Peach is just so able to put the damage right back on quickly. This is the scary thing about her. You get down tilted once, and you can go to death. Going hard there, chucking the turn up, and going for the booty bump. Just trying to straighten the shield and trying it again. Not able to convert. I guess her booty just isn't thick enough for Wolf. I guess not. Oh, good dash attack. Not gonna take it just yet. Good DI coming out from Zenodo. Back in disadvantage. Oh, good neutral air coming out from Azur Jose. Again, having the presence of mind, you know, just to finish the stock. Uh, you, you know what's gonna happen. You want Zenodo to steal this stock, right? Because if he doesn't, you win that. Okay, I'm gonna eat my words. <laughs> Chasing 50% right now, but hey, as we have seen before, able to just put the combos on one after the other and already bringing it back even essentially. And now he's got the lead. And his crazy thing is, is Zenodo's been getting a lot of winky face and that's a very good turn up for Peach, right? It's not stead face, but it's still really good. Decent damage, decent knockback. Oh, oh, and it does. Finally, after trying over and over to get the turn up down throw, finally connects with one to end the game. Last stocks puts Ezra Jose under the stage and finishes out game one. I have no words, man. I really, it's one of those things like the RNG uh, Peach, it just crazy, right? I've seen games where Sam Sora pulls out two bombs in a row. I know, like, it's insane. How? Or like a Saturn and a bomb and then another Saturn. Or Every like time I play Peach and I 
pull out a bomb, I'm going to blow myself up with it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going right back to Smash Bros. Right that, right that was straight back, not even thinking about it. Just run it back. That's what it a lot of my sets have been. It's like no counter picks, really. It's nope. like, just run it back. I like this thing. Why not? I think a lot of players, um, you know, feel, hey, I think I could have won there. I feel like I made some mistakes. Let me make some adjustments, and I'm, I'm going to take this one. And let's see if uh, Ezra Jose can figure it out. Looks like he has off to a good start, a good two frame to take a pretty early stock. That down smash is a very good option of down uh, two framing, right? You know, down tilt can two frame, down smash, a lot of options. Although trying to find a way to punish there on the on the high and slow recovery, but um, Ezra Jose getting back fairly safely. And, but All right, good rating order. the recovery there. Taking stock number one from Ezra Jose, and we're essentially even here. Two stacks apiece. And now you gotta watch out, right? You wanna take that dog to the wolf pound, right? Because if you don't, he'll give you rabies. <laughs> oh. Back in disadvantage, as, you know, Jose's doing a very good job so far of just like keeping him in disadvantage, right? That's the difference so far in this game is the disadvantage opportunities. Yep. Oh, went for that forward smash read, just didn't catch it. And now we go. And another one, just throwing them out. Good upbeat, just get back. Oh, re grab, where's yeah, the punish? Say, I was waiting for a hard one, but Zenoda decided to play patient here. Forward throw, just getting back in disadvantage. See, that's, a, that's the difference between game one and game two. Jose's doing a lot of difference of like getting back to stage with, you know, changing up his options, but it's not doing so well at, at this point. He's down not too much, but he's definitely down. He can run it back though. One or two conversions, right back on this game. For sure. He's gotta he's gotta take this stack to this stack pretty soon though. Uh oh. Watch out for Peach though. Watch that RNG. Here we go, 72, up to 100. Zenodo getting a lot of equity out of this, this extra stock here. Up tilt just going to snap her out of reality, right? Snap her back. Now, are we going to see this pup go to pound, or is he going to, you know, run to the races? <laughs> Booty is going to take that. Yep. And... Good stuff to Zenodo, right? Just being patient, knowing, you know, I have such a comfortable lead at this point, right? I don't have